Hey everyone, it's Mariana, and let's talk about the highly anticipated Suicide Squad. This movie had a lot going for it. It had a bunch of DC characters that a lot of people were excited to see. It had a pretty awesome cast. It had David Ayer writing and directing, and it looked pretty different from all of the recent superhero movies because these guys are not heroes. But did this movie deliver? Not so much. So in this movie, we have a government agent, Amanda Waller, played by Viola Davis, who is putting together a team of villains, some of whom happen to also be metahumans, to fight potential extra dangerous threats. They end up going on a mission and chaos ensues. Now, I'm just going to put this out there. I did not like this movie. I thought it was a big mess, and even though I did not go in with really high expectations, I still ended up disappointed. That, however, does not mean you're not allowed to like this movie. If you went to see Suicide Squad and you enjoyed it and you had fun with it, that's great. That means the price of admission was worth it for you and there is nothing wrong with that. We can just disagree about this movie, but for me, it just didn't work. There were, however, some things that I did like about it, so let's start with those. First of all, Will Smith as Deadshot was the best part of the movie for me, even though he did have some cringeworthy lines. Everyone had those. They managed to actually introduce him effectively and give the actor something interesting to do as far as the character goes. The other character who actually got an introduction other than here's this person who can do things is, of course, Harley Quinn. Margot Robbie's performance definitely stands out, and she looks like she had a lot of fun with this character. She did have some lines of dialogue that felt a little forced, so I ended up going from being entertained and interested to occasionally being a little bit annoyed by her, but in general, her character is definitely a standout character and she is fun to watch. I'm a bit on the fence about Viola Davis as Amanda Waller because Viola Davis is great and she is such a boss as this character. I just loved her. However, her actual character does not always make sense just the way that she is written. So even though I absolutely loved Viola Davis in this role, I really wished that the character was written a little bit better. The last positive that I want to mention is that I did like seeing these characters using their abilities or powers and having fun with them, which did make the action scenes more interesting to watch and made them more entertaining to watch. I definitely enjoyed the first big action scene where the group gets to fight together the most, particularly because of Deadshot. The rest of this movie, though, is a pretty big mess. The story itself is paper thin, it's predictable, there are plot holes all around, the villain is something we've seen before so many times, and the editing is just not doing the storytelling any favors. It really felt like the filmmakers thought they could just throw all of these characters together and the movie would just work itself out somehow. And that's just not how storytelling works. You have to actually tell a good story and put it together in a way that flows well. You can't just put these characters out there and say, hey, this is what's happening with them, and then expect people to care because not everybody going into this movie is going to be a hardcore fan who will bring all of their experience into the movie and project it onto the characters. That's just not what's going to happen. In this movie, aside from Harley Quinn and Deadshot, barely anyone gets any kind of legitimate introduction to make people care about these characters. The writing just is not great, and even when it came to the humor, a lot of the jokes just didn't land. There were so many moments in this movie where you could tell something was meant to be funny, and yet the audience had this awkward, dead silence going on, even though the theater that I was in was almost full. I really want to like you, DCU, but you're making it difficult. And then there is the Joker, which judging from some of the tweets that I've seen, is where people seem to disagree. For me, this version of the Joker just did not work at all, and this makes me extremely sad because I actually love Jared Leto, and this was the first role of his where I 
did not like seeing him on screen, and that's a big disappointment for me. Once again, a lot of that probably has to do with the writing, and he did mention in some interviews that a lot of his scenes were cut from the movie, so it's possible that somewhere in those scenes that were cut, his character really comes together. But all I have is what I saw in the theater, and for me, his character was just a big miss. I didn't think he was menacing or scary or all that creepy. I didn't buy his relationship with Harley Quinn at all. I thought that there was no standout moment for the Joker in this entire movie, and really he just felt very style over substance for me. Slipknot is also in this movie, that's about it. I actually had to look up who this was because they didn't even bother introducing him. So he is just kind of there, kind of like Katana, who gets a little bit more screen time than that, but still, she is just kind of there for us to see. That's a theme for a lot of characters in this movie. They are just there, we are told that they exist, and they have abilities or powers, and somehow we're supposed to care about them. That's not how that works. Lastly, I know a lot of people liked the music that was used in the movie, but did it actually match what was going on on screen? Not really. It was just a bunch of songs that people like thrown on top of a bunch of characters that people like, and that's really not what the point of a soundtrack in the movie is. So even though I did enjoy the songs themselves, I just didn't think they worked as a soundtrack here. Overall, as I mentioned earlier, I was very disappointed by Suicide Squad. The writing, the editing, the characters, it just did not come together as a good movie. It's not unwatchable, there are some good moments in this film, but really there is just a whole lot of wasted potential here, and I'm going to give Suicide Squad two out of five stars. I just can't recommend for any of you to go and spend your money on a movie ticket with this movie unless you're just really curious for some reason. That's it from our review of Suicide Squad. Let me know what you guys thought of this movie. If you've seen it already, let me know if you're planning to see it, if you're still excited to see it because the ratings haven't been that great from the critics, but I know some of the fans are loving it, so let me know what you think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching as always, and if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with your friends. I hope you're having an awesome day and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!